Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three.
Nice, have to go. Okay, welcome everybody who's tuned in to uh, Facebook, to Round Towers uh, Lusk GA Facebook page. Uh, we're here in uh, Lorcan O'Toole Park, the heart of Crumlin, and uh, we're looking forward to a Junior E Championship final uh, between Round Towers Lusk and Commercials. Right, um, conditions are uh, very, very nice. There's only a light breeze. Uh, it seems to be going across the pitch. Um, we've got the teams warming up, and we're we're looking at about 10 minutes to to throw in so we're going to try and fill that 10 minutes uh, with the team line outs um, we, I've got a, uh, an assistant beside me here Niall Johnson uh, my name is John McKenna by the way from Round Towers so expect the commentary to be perhaps mildly biased <laughs> mildly biased okay right so what we'll do first is we'll uh, We'll actually go down through the commercials line out. Okay, and welcome also, not just to Round Towers viewers, uh, but to commercials. Uh, and uh, hopefully, there's a good few of you tuned in that you got the word that this was being uh, broadcast on Facebook. Uh, yeah, okay, now. So, uh, in goals for commercials, we have Aaron King. Then we got the full back line of Dermot Madden, Kieran Conlon, and Jack Doyle. The half back line, Aidan McCarthy, John Morris, and David Murphy. In midfield, we have Colin Lawler, Adam McCabe, and then in the half forward line, we have Rory O'Noulon, Colin Martin, and Dara O'Noulon. Right, full forward line, Sean Dungan, uh, Fionn Mac Aidagon, and Cahal O'Leary. Right, we have a healthy uh, bench for commercials. We might go through those perhaps at half time, and certainly as uh, as players uh, do come onto the pitch. Okay, I, I like to mention the management team of commercials. Uh, that's Martin Byrne, uh, Chopper Fury, Gary Walsh, and Dan Doon. Doon. Okay, so uh, uh, and I see the commercial uh, team. They're congregated. They seem to be having a bit of a chat um, and uh, just, just yeah, getting ready. They've, they've been warming up as well. Okay. Right. So uh, that brings us to, I suppose, uh, our own Round Towers line out. Uh, our own players are still uh, warming up there, as you'll you'll see. Okay. So we've got a good mixture of young and old here. Um, we've been gradually cleaning out the stalls, bringing in the younger players, but we haven't cleaned out the stalls completely. Okay, <laughs> not mentioning anybody in particular. Okay, but we start off with our goalkeeper, Brian, ever reliant, uh, Pat Cod, number one. Right. Um, our full back line, two, three, and four, Connor Bohan. Um, Ono Doherty and Aaron Hogan. Our halfback line, uh, Dave Kenny, Shane Murphy and Dean Grimes. So that's our five, six, seven. In midfield then we've got Chris Neville and Paul Kelly. Um, our half forward line, we've got Podge McGuinness at number 10, Luke White at number 11 and Damien O'Brien at number 12. Our full forward line then uh, of 13, 14, 15, Jonathan Nile at 13, Luke Cott at 14, and Martin Slattery, or Slats as we call him, uh, at 15. Right, so um, again, uh, we've got a healthy bench, um, but we'll deal with those as they uh, enter the field of play. Right, um, I shouldn't forget also the Round Towers uh, management team, okay, and that's Colm O'Brien, David Power, Brendan Starling, and Barry Griffin. And I saw Ray Walsh there uh, warming the lads up uh, prior to prior to uh, just after we got got here. Okay, so. Um, Right, I should mention also our referee for the day is uh, Stephen Shields of St. Kevin's uh, Hurling Club. Okay, so uh, commercials now have uh, broken up. They've done their uh, their gather round, their rallying calls, and it looks like Brown Towers now are getting into their tops. They've had a good warm up. 
uh, as I say, conditions are uh, ideal. A little bit overcast here, as I'm sure it is in most of Dublin. Um, but uh, nice picturesque surroundings. You can see the Dublin mountains uh, to our right. Uh, I'm hoping my geography is right there. Uh, but we'll be paying attention not to the mountains or the scenery, but uh, the on pitch ongoings. So uh, we've got five minutes to go. So I'm going to bring in uh, Niall Johnson here. Niall, what do you think? How are we fixed? Yeah, we're fixed okay. We've uh, you know, progressed nicely through the championship. Uh, to the final. Uh, predict a lost win. Okay, uh, right. A lost uh, and and totally unbiased like like Absolutely. myself. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. We're we're doing well. We had um, we had a good. Now this is Round Towers' um, first adult Ireland team. Not in the sense of of, of it being uh, the first one ever, but there are now two teams. Okay, uh, in in Lusk. So this is the first team and um, uh, our second team was in the Junior G Championship um, right did not progress to the, the the knockout stages but our but our Junior E team have been flying pretty well now just one defeat now I think in the group games and that was to Nafina but um, finished second in the group then into the quarterfinals uh, that was against Neymar Nogue had a tight win there one point win um, then we, our last outing was uh, Cheapers uh, Nave Barogue. Um, that was a well fought game. Two narrow win, two points. Um, towers there, uh, missing a few starters, regular starters there, but battled well. Was, were eight points up, I believe, at one point. Um, Barogue came back. Um, leveled in the the last quarter, um, but tr Towers had enough in the tank there to to, to get over the line. So that brings us here to the Junior E final, uh, down in here in in, in Crumlin, as I've said before, against Commercials. Now, uh, do we know anything about Commercials now? Not we haven't. We haven't. We, we didn't. <laughs> we were drafted in so late. We didn't get time to do our our, our homework. Okay. Um, but obviously, it's junior E. Okay. They have they've come through somehow. I believe actually they would have come through the other group because the uh, round towers did not play them in the group stages. They did beat Nafina in the semi-final. And they beat Nafina in the semi-final. Okay. So that's probably as much as we we uh, we need to know. Um, perhaps somebody could fill us in the comments uh, if we missed out. And Anything there. Right. All your listeners that don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're looking at the watch here, two or three minutes. So the throw in has been made there now, centre of the field. Okay, the toss, the toss. The toss yes. I mean, sorry. Yeah. Looks like we've won something today already, and that's the toss. I can see. Um, we're going to point down towards, and I probably have a name for each number of these three. Names. It's your, uh, number it's probably three. the the south end, maybe in the north end. Okay, but we're going to be. It looks like we're going to be playing down towards the mountains. Okay, so we have our captain owner Doherty going there, and it looks like he's pointed down towards the uh, the Dublin Mountains end there, uh, newly rechristened. Uh, and it looks like we've won the toss, and they're opting to play. Uh, yeah, I can see the 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 full forwards moving down towards that end. So that will be um, from left to right as we're looking at it uh, on screen. Well, commercials seem to be having another huddle here. Um, didn't obviously didn't huddle enough the, that first time, so we'll be expecting a roar now in a second. Towers have done their preparations; they're they're onto the pitch. As is traditional, the ref is looking for a slitter at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
right. So I hope now um, most of our juveniles, and I would say this for both clubs, that they're tuned in. They'll know an awful lot of these players. We'd normally have uh, a lot of juveniles up at our matches following this team. Both teams, actually. The first and second teams throughout the championships. So I hope you're all tuned in. Big shout out to the juveniles of both Round Towers and Commercials. And we're about to enjoy the throw in here. And she's off. Okay, loose ball. Chris Neville fighting for the ball. Commercial comes away to commercial zone. Right, okay. Right, they run into uh, Chris Neville and Dave Kenny. Chris clears it up up high. Right, okay. This is in the jurisdiction of uh, Damien O'Brien. And Luke Hart comes away with the ball. Little shimmy. Oh, that's a lovely strike. And that looks to be the first score of the game. Over the bar. Come on, Luke Hart. Okay, so nice movement of the ball there. Okay, we've got the puck out now from the restart from uh, commercials. Looks to be coming to... Right, commercials have picked it up. Okay, half forward line it looks like. Okay, nice ball into the forward there. Okay, right. Uh, right, he's popped it a little bit too high there. Okay, Dave Kenny comes in with the shoulder. In possession. Right. Come on, right. Okay. Oh, and uh, controversial call. Oh, what's going on? Okay, Dave Kenny cost for um, over carrying there. Right, the ref has called uh, Dave Kenny over for uh, a, a, a word. This doesn't look good, lads. And, uh, and Dave has picked up a yellow there. Didn't look too much in it, to be fair. Yeah, no, didn't quite uh, catch it. I did see the, the referee uh, turn around. Okay, we're just waiting to see. Commercials player is back up. Right, and it's a free in, and this is to be taken by uh, Fionn Mac Aedagon. I hope I'm getting that pronunciation right. Okay, it strikes it high. It seems to be drifting to the right. Oh, it's dropped. It's, and it looks like that's gone over for 65. Okay. So he's going to be uh, at a, a straighter angle here, but a little further out than that free that he just took. That free was from about the uh, 50 meter line, 50 meter distance, but out here. Where is he taking it from? Look, he's uh, taking it from the wrong he's 65. Taking it, taking it from the wrong, yeah. Okay, but he seems to. Have, okay, it's dropped into the box. They pull on it, and that's a clear wide. Okay, so um, <laughs> obviously Amanda likes to challenge himself. <laughs> Um. <laughs> right, okay, ball drops, okay. Right, okay, and we have. Oh, is, is Luke Chase on it? Okay, right, referee, referee, you've blown that up. Oh, sorry, one second. Wait, so Luke is the left. Okay, so we have a slight correction to the numbering here, okay? So it looks like Luke Card is playing the yellow helmet at 11, but he's still playing on uh, full forward, and Luke uh, White is playing 14. Now the ball drops in from that uh, free. It's out on the th uh, 13 meter line. Commercials, uh, their full forward has it. Hand pass out just outside the 20, 20 meter line. Out to the free man on the wing. It's a tight angle. He strikes and it's gone over the bar for a point. Okay, so it's a point each here at O'Toole Park. Sharp on by pass. Okay, sharp puck out to. With the punch. Okay, so it's Dean Grimes. Okay, yeah. 
Right, there's a ruck over on the far side of the pitch, okay? Right, looks like commercials have come out with it, but the ball is still in contention. Number 14, Hazard. Right, okay, oh, so that's Luke, uh, Luke White came out with that. But penalised, what was that penalty for now? Um, penalised for overcarrying. Overcarrying, yeah, it looks go. like. That's his, to go. He seems to be strong on overcarrying this referee, so yeah, um, yeah. to watch out for watch that. Okay, so that. Uh, so this looks to be again around. This looks like to be the. This is substitution. Number five has gone for Round Towers. Round oh. Towers, Dave Kenny has been substituted. Dave Kenny is number 17 coming off. is in. And Adam McNally is in, it looks like. It's number 17 uh, for Round Towers. And that would be on the half back line, okay? So this looks that. Three was from roughly the right 65, and it has dropped wide, just left of the post there. Okay, so still one point each. Okay, Pat Codd going long this time. It's going slightly up the right of the pitch. Okay, Damien O'Brien is underneath it, uh, but commercials have picked up the loose ball. Um, sharp puck down. Uh, and good block down by Adam. Right, okay, and we have shot Shane Murphy there. Okay, doesn't get a lot of purchase on it. He's coming into Damien. Well, Damien's on it. Pulls on it. Okay. Commercials are hand passing it. They're working it slowly, but this is coming to Chris Neville, who seems to be playing a sweeper here, perhaps. Now, Lou's falling back. Up to the forwards. Lou Cod seems to have it. No, it's on the ground. Um, it's gone loose. It's gone out to commercials number seven. He has slipped. Damien is putting him under pressure. Yes. And he's gone for steps. Okay, so good pressure there from the uh, round towers uh, from Damien O'Brien there. Round towers half. Uh, right half forward. Luke yeah, so Luke is, is lining this one up. Again, it's, this is just inside, about maybe 5 10 metres inside the uh, 45 metre line, uh, but there's a nice angle on it. Okay, that looks to be good. Right, okay. Uh, and Towers go ahead one point there with that nice score. Down, splitting the post there. Okay, the puck out here looks to be going long for commercials. So we're going for commercials with Aaron King, King yeah. Uh, so we've got Chris Neville going for this ball. He's yeah. Okay, and now we've got Paul Kelly uh, to Podge McGuinness, hand passes inside. Uh, so Jonathan Nile with commercials game possession and a high ball up. Okay, nice catch there by number 10, uh, Rory O'Neillon, and that looks to be over the bar. Okay, so this is uh, seems to be the story so far. Very very close game, two points apiece. Intense. Um, yeah, good 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 uh, good tight affair. Um, Pat goes, hits the ball to midfield, John the Nile is looking for that, okay Johnny needs to, to go shorten that grip I think, right he needs help but we're, uh, Dean Grimes, ball goes past Dean Grimes and again out to Shane Murphy, okay Podge Collins picks up that ball on the left, he's running with it for a while, he's looking for the free man but he's going to take his point yeah. and it's over the bar, lovely point there by Podge uh, McGuinness. <laughs> Okay, towers edge ahead. They've been edging ahead, but commercials seem to be uh, clawing back each score. So let's see, will that hold now? Uh, long puck out from the uh, commercials keeper. Okay, good catch there from number 15. Low ball in, 13. Nice control, but he's, is he going to go for it? Uh, he is, but it has, it has gone over the bar. So that pattern continues. Power score, commercial score. Okay, sharp puck out by Pat Codd. Out to Chris Neville on the left. Uh, Chris Neville drives that one up to the forwards, okay? But it's come, loose ball comes out to commercials. They're um, right, they're left corner back, it looks like. But the, the ball's gone into a rock. Okay, and it looks like Paul okay. Kelly's got this short ball into the slats. into slats. No, no, no. Martin Slattery. Okay, there's a man free if you can see him. Oh, there's no whistle gone. There's no whistle gone. That looked contentious. Okay, ball only comes out, and it seems to be deflect. 
Uh, what's the decision here? It's a line ball to Lusk. Okay, a line ball to Lusk. Okay, I thought that went off a Lusk Crowley, but you know, maybe no. it was already gone out. Okay, so Luke is, yeah, he's placing this one. Actually, I think that's what the case is. Look, looks to be a lot of grass the other side of that uh, sideline. So Luke lines it up. It's a low one. Okay, it's a race now. Uh, but commercials get to it first. Johnny Niles looking for the block down. Okay, right. The ball has come into the uh, full forward line by commercials. And it looks like there was... An unshoulder there. It was close to a shoulder, but it wasn't quite. And the ref has given a uh, free in, and this is just on the 20 meter line. So, Niall, what do you think so far? That's an even game. Not much in it. Uh, it'll be tight at the end. It, it, it looks like that, but this is the chance for commercials now to go one point ahead. They haven't taken the lead in this match so far. Right. Oh, right. and that surprisingly has gone wide. That looked to be from a relatively okay angle. Okay, so the puck out has gone long again. It's gone down to the right. This will be looking. They'll be looking for Damien. Uh, Luke White is on it. Pulls on the ground. That looked to be like a. Oh, it's, it looked like a lost ball, but it's been given to uh, commercial. <laughs> So we've got number seven, uh, that's David Murphy lining this up, placing it. Okay, that's a medium high ball, Adam McNally goes in for it, but this is going to be a round towers uh, ball, just on their own 65 metre line. Okay, so John, Johnny Nile is going to take this one. He's placing the ball. Right. He gets a bit of height on it. Okay, it's gone over Damien uh, O'Brien's head. Luke is going to going to try and get on this. He gets possession. He's coming out. He turns. He drops the ball. It's a little bit short. Okay, keeper has it. He clears it high. This is going to drop. Yeah, Chris Neville gets up for it, but he's got support in Shane Murphy. Shane seems to win it. Okay, great win there. He pucks it. It's yeah. Again, it's going to drop it's into the box. One. Will the forwards be able to get this? Oh, Luke White was tripped, was he? he oh, and he buries it. Okay. Great goal, Luke White. Great Luke there for the who's for Luke White, who seems to be varying his position between the half forward line and and and, and obviously in there on the full forward line. But great score. Um, put a bit of distance now between uh, the two teams. How long will this last, though? Right. Will commercials? Uh, Catch up again. So a long puck out reset there. Again. again, Chris Neville is picking those bo those puck outs out well. Out That's Luke. up out to Luke White, who's out in front of his man. Okay, he's just shimmied inside now. He's going on his left, yep. and that's a nice ball over the bar. Okay, yeah. So one four to three points now is the score here in O'Toole Park, and uh, not quite 15 minutes gone. Can be too far from the water break, so I suppose. Yeah, I'd say uh, probably two or three more minutes. Okay, this puck out is coming under uh, Shane Murphy and Damien O'Brien is back here. Commercials are first to it though, they gain possession, he tries to go forward, pops it back. Okay, that's all right. Okay, Connor Bowen is racing to get this one, but commercials get it, there's a slight fumble. The ball is, is this a small rock emerging. Okay, and Dean Grimes comes out with it, but again, he's under pressure, ball drops to the ground. Ball is still in contention here. Okay, Damien O'Brien wins possession up the right wing, but there's nobody up there for towers. Oh, and it looks like something happened. Okay, we didn't see that, but uh, referees uh, calling a couple of players over. Number 10. Right? There might have been afters there, a slight little bit of uh, over familiarity, I think, as they call it. <laughs> Taking a practical approach to this. Yeah. Calm down, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it, keep, keep it country, as I say. Right, okay, right. So they, um, yeah. No hand sanitizer there, but anyway. They, uh, 
Right, okay, so uh, the free um, is from that, uh, or the re restart, I think it was. It was a free, yes, Connor Bowen wins the ball, lovely pop pass out to. Oh, great. And this is Shane Murphy again, intercepted though by commercials. Right, they're on the 45 meter line there, but they're. they're they're fumbling a little bit, okay, right? Dispossessed, and it's Shane Murphy who's playing a big part big in this half-back line, okay? Now, he was he was blocked there a little bit. It comes back to the, his counterpart, number six on commercials. That's a ball into the box, uh, right? And it comes out to Connor Bowen. Connor doesn't get possession, though. Uh, again, it's not a clear, but they're... 15, he just slipped, looks like. He's under pressure. Okay, the ball comes now out to uh, Adam McNally. Gains possession. He's surrounded by four commercial players. He passes it back, but the referee deems it to be a throw, it looks like. I don't think it was. <laughs> Seemed to be a backhand hand pass, and maybe the ref couldn't uh, it's, it's see it as such. One of those reverse hand passes. Reverse, yeah. Um, <laughs> So anyway, right, so a chance here to, uh, for, for commercials, again, this is a tighter angle and a similar distance to their last free, which was on the other side, so will it fare any better here? Well, he the so their, their full forward, Fionn Marie is on this again, seems to be their free taker. Uh, gentle tap this time, oh, just dropped over, but it's still good as a point. So we're back down to uh, just a goal between break. the two sides, and sides, and we're uh, to our first water break. So I know these won't last long. Okay, so uh, yeah, what do you reckon, Lyle? Not a not a bad start. Not, not a bad, bad fifteen start. minutes now for yeah. for Round Towers. Yeah, started slowly, got into the game. Uh, excellent uh, goal uh, by Luke Craig. and uh, looks like we get the ball to the forward line. We can cause him that. Yeah, yeah, that that seems to be it. Okay, we've got Shane Murphy there, who's uh, who's getting on the ball. Ball a lot in our half back line. Chris Neville seems yeah. to be playing the sweeper role. Um, he's he's winning a few of those puck outs and the, and the balls that are coming out from the commercial backs. Yeah. Um, and uh, now commercials have on occasion got that ball into our our uh, our large rectangle there. But our backs are holding up there, and, and the ball has come out fairly, fairly quick, right? Um, but again, if the, uh, the fo our forwards are reacting very, very quickly to balls, and Lukad now has picked up at least uh, uh, two or three points, I would say, about our, our Hall of Four, is it? Yeah, I think he got. He's got two. I think he's three. got four. Four, is he? He's got all the uh, right, and um, and our goal scorer was, of course, was Luke White. Okay, so it's uh, now so all the Lukes are active up in the forwards. Okay, so so. Uh, uh, yeah, so very good, good strong showing by by uh, Round Towers. The teams are coming back to the pitch now. Um, commercials though are, are We've got some speedy forwards. I think you know yeah. they, they have pace in the forward line, so that that could be a worry. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. They ball. are moving the ball up the pitch, and they are winning some of that dirty ball from the rook, rooks. But uh, uh, in fairness, uh, they are getting hassled a lot by the um, by the towers backs. So. Um, I think Towers will be pleased with this. There's a goal between them after the first quarter, and we restart. Puck out by Pat Codd. This is dropping over the opposition 65. Okay, Luke White is in possession again. Oh, nice drop ball into Podge. Podge has it in his hand. He takes a bit of a solo. Oh, and it's dropping to, to Slads, okay? And Damien pulls on it, but there's enough commercials back there to block those shots. Ball comes out. Up. Oh. The near wing. There you go. Okay, right. Nice uh, little flick back. And but are they overplaying this? Okay. Now there's a little bit of, and they're hassled again by the, the round towers midfield. Okay. Again, Chris Neville out to mop up that that ball as sweeper. Okay. He looks nice. Hand pass out to Shane Murphy. Those lads are combining very well today. But there's three on one here, and he was dispossessed. Okay, number 12 for, for uh, right, but it comes in, there aren't enough commercial forwards up there. Uh, Towers should be able to clear this, but they're, right, oh no. Oh, Donald gets it, clears out to John, Jonathan Nile, plays it on the ground, but again, this is, uh, this is caught by uh, commercials, nine and four combining, okay. But again, there's not a lot of clean catching there. But number 12 has it, okay, he's surrounded, you know, he's, he's found the free man, okay. But again, there's usually three or four around Towers lads around them. Now there's a clear ball out, out on the wing here to nine. Will he take his point? Oh, he didn't quite catch that. And that's dropping straight into Connor Bowen. Connor is out the left. Okay, he's got two men following him. He was hooked. Okay, so this 
We'll be happy with that, okay, right? And that is a point for commercials. Narrowing the gap to two points. Okay. So commercials are starting to, to give the towers a little bit of that hassling back, surrounding their men in position. Position. Okay, right? Oh, uh, free in there, just for a, a, a late bit of chop there by, by Damien O'Brien. Nothing, nothing. Uh, what? Harsh enough, he was contesting the ball. Yeah, yeah, it looked like that, but I think the, the, the sound of that, the hurries clashing probably made the decision for the ref there. Okay, so number six, they're uh, half back for, for uh, commercials. Drops this ball into the box. Okay. Oh, no, Donald is first out to it, though. Oh, and, uh, oh, he's lost possession. There's a little pop back in, but Pat Codd, sure hands, catches that ball, drives it out the left wing, out to the 65. Luke White gets a little Throwing push the on back. the back there and made the decision easy there for the referee. Okay. So this is on about the halfway line, uh, nearer to the far uh, sideline. Luke's coming out, okay. Uh, Luke Codd is coming out, yeah. So will this be in Luke's range, you reckon, now? I think if he puts it over, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Great philosophising there. <laughs> right. So it will be in his range if he puts it over. We'll find out shortly. Okay, it's high. It's good. Oh, it seems over. to be tailing no, to the no. left and, and it's gone wide. Okay, right. So, in fairness, he had the range. He did have the range. Yes. <laughs> he had the range, though. Yeah. But uh, uh, he'll learn from that. He's a young man. And uh, hopefully he'll, he'll, he'll know better the next time. Okay, so the restart up high uh, from commercials, landing on round towers 45, batted down there. Podge Collins looks, uh, Podge, not Podge Collins, Podge McGuinness. That's <laughs> the Claire coming in. Right, uh, was first to that, but he lost possession. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, it's gone out. Connor Bowen is out there. Uh, commercials, All right? Connor gains possession. He's going to, hopefully, he won't be hooked this time. He gets it away as a block down, but it's gone out for a, a Towers yeah, uh, si sideline ball. Yes, as, as you should expect be. from that block ball. Uh, the ref has let the flow, I think is what they say, is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's very strict on steps, though, to give him credit. Yeah. Strict on steps and nothing else. I don't know, did you see um, how Podge didn't get that uh, ball? He was forced to, and I thought he, he had it. The next thing I took my eyes off it. He was pushing the back. Was it always oh, a little push on the back, okay? No, it could be slightly balled. Right, okay. We're, we're speculating, of course. <laughs> Okay, so Chris Neville has taken the sideline. He gets a bit of height onto it. This is going oh, oh, past the uh, commercial oh, 65. Oh, oh, oh. Luke White is first to it. Don't quite gain clear, clean possession. Uh, that was John Denial, okay. I think he was hampered there in the in the puck. Uh, legally, of course, okay. This comes out to the uh, number 10 for commercials. Great, Great block pass. down by Dean Grimes. Uh, Johnny Nile is fighting for this. Johnny might need to shorten that grip. Okay, right. Uh, referee's blown this up. This will be a simple throw in. Oh, but oh, there dear. was... Handbags. Uh, handbags, yes. Over familiarity. Uh, seen a bit of that. They're, they're obviously getting acquainted with each other around towers and commercials. Being north, uh, being quite a distance between the clubs, they're, they probably need to spend a bit of time getting to know each other. <laughs> Not much social distance in going on. No, no, no. Okay, so simple throwing. Okay, that's uh, pa Paul Kelly in the was going in for that. The ball still loose. Team Grimes is getting over it. Right, still, still in contention. It's come out. Team Grimes has it. He has it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gone close, but it's a low ball in. But there's nobody in the forwards. They're obviously all involved in that rope. Yeah. Okay. Clearance out by the uh, out. Nice ball out to the uh, the right corner forward there for commercials. Who goes inside near to the line. He's got to go past Chris Neville, and he doesn't do that successfully, as you'd expect. Okay. Yeah, he thought twice about uh, <laughs> going past Chris Neville there, I think. Uh, restart by Pat Codd, out to the near. Uh, well done, Damien O'Brien, okay? Here's the ball out. Oh, surely a hand in the back there. This flow. All right. Okay, commercials clear out to their own 65. Uh, up to the uh, into the ins that's the must be the is it full what number is it full 14. forward 14 right the pass wasn't the hand pass wasn't a great clean one and what there's a free in, the, in the here what was that was he he looked as though he was you know what that was for blocking. maybe a hand over his shoulder or something he said he blocked the run which he oh, okay was that a block on the run <laughs> okay so 
again, full forwards. This is uh, Fionn McGeady going again to take the free. And this one is uh, just slightly to the left of centre. Um, should be achievable. So this will only put this will put the minimum between the teams. Oh, he doesn't catch that cleanly, and it just drops in, and it comes out to. Uh, He's batted on the ground back in, but Shane Murphy, I think, is playing this on the ground. He's dribbling a little bit on the ground. He gives. Oh, no, it's come loose. Commercials have it. Okay, there's a a, a, a brick flick out to their, their centre half forward, number 11. He seemed to be taking a few steps, but he hits it low. And this is getting cleared by Owen O'Donnell. Okay, blocks it. Blocks another one on the ground. Dean Grimes into the rescue. He seemed to be pulled across, okay. And there's a free out here. The ball nearly hit. Okay, and the ball is almost. Uh, to, yeah. Right. Okay. The ball nearly really else to get that. We're too busy commentating here. Ball came very close to us. Here. Right. We're getting our priorities right. But anyway, there'll be another. Uh, so Pat Cotter's coming out to take this free. Right. Uh, just about on our own uh, 13 meter line. Okay, it doesn't quite catch it's it. It's dropping now stroke. to the. But uh, Adam McNally, who seems to be uh, out in row midfield there, is nearest. The ball has gone dirty again. Commercials are winning a lot of this dirty ball from the rook. Okay, number 12 goes backwards. All right, he sets it up, sends it up. A uh, bit of a diagonal ball there, but Chris Neville, as usual, is first to it. Okay. Oh, that's that a shot. seems to be Surely a shot. Not. Yes, and the referee has called it. As such, okay, so Chris will probably take this. We're going with it looks like a quick one. Oh, yes. Luke, Luke's called for oh no, the ref has um, called it back. So I don't know why. Uh, probably just hadn't blown his whistle for the reset. So this is going back to Chris, uh, just inside our own 45 metre line. Uh, there, yeah. Okay. Number seven. That's Dean Grimes has the helmet off. He's looking for some attention. Um, and that was a poor miss, Niall, wasn't it? From commercials, a chance to 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 uh, just get back within one point. Um, didn't seem to quite catch that. No. Okay. So and the frames. You know, I know he's, he's scored one or two, but yeah, I think Towns are getting a bit of a let off there. Absolutely. There's Ray on. Okay, so we've got Ray Walsh having a word now with our forwards. Um, so this will be a bit of a pause in the game, right? Um, has there been a, a score actually in a, in a few minutes either, has there? No, the last score was um, about five minutes ago. Yes, at least. Okay, Chris Neville, the, uh, restart from that free. Now this is going into the box. Oh no, it's gone. gone uh, Surprised that that be taken yeah, with a player still being treated without a helmet on the field. Yeah. Um, okay, but uh, anyway, that that was um, good distance from Chris Neville, just not the, the the accuracy that he would have liked. Mm. Really shouldn't have <coughs> restarted it with a player out there yeah. with no helmet on. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Dean Grimes is going off. Oh, there's somebody. Is uh, Liam That's Bowen has just come on? Come on yeah. Okay, now why, this might be just a blood sob. Okay. So Liam has been out recently with injury, um, and, but obviously fit enough to come on here maybe. It's uh, because it's only a few minutes to half time, probably about five or six. Okay, Chris Neville is getting underneath this again. Look at that, clean catch. Okay, nice little pop up into that area where Luke, the two Lukes are. Uh, Luke Cod gains possession and he's off. He's going to. He's making a beeline towards the goal. Holds up. Looks to find the man. There's there's player centre. Damian Bryan is centre. Surely he'll be looking to put this over, which he does. On Burgess. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was a great move. Uh, that was given as a point, Niall, wasn't yes. it? Yeah. Oh yeah. They're changing the scoreboard now. Uh, just a little bit of impatience on my part there. So well, there's a goal between them again. Right, okay, so Liam comes in, his first touch of the ball there, and it seems to, uh, yeah, he got a hand to it, and that's gone out for a uh, commercials uh, sideline. So it looks like uh, commercials now. We've got Dara uh, O'Neulon. Oh, no, 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 number seven. So that's uh, David Murphy. He's been taking us. It's actually Aidan McCarthy. Uh, I thought it was number seven, no? Yeah, but he's not Aidan. It's the TikTok man. Oh, okay, okay, right. <laughs> so maybe a slight change in numbers there, okay, right. I'm going to pick them top. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Carl, let's go. 
Okay, and uh, Paul Kelly has got a punch on the far sideline. Number nine has gone off there for, for Top for Round some Towers. Sort of attention. That's Paul yeah. Kelly gone yeah, another, off. Another, it's, it's another blood injury. Ray, Ray is coming up. Ray O'Keefe is coming on into the action now. And this is all, that's been three replacements. Yeah, it's before half time there. So Ray is on. Commercials aren't sparing the timber, it's a Okay, that's a nice little ball in. Uh, Commercials get a hand to it. They don't gain possession. Okay, number 15, and pops it, and it looks to be high ball. good. Oh, he's giving the reference, giving it as a wide. Yep. Okay, okay, the commercials umpire there seem to have uh, done it as a point, but yeah, well, surprisingly enough. Yeah, the ref, though, it was in fairness right in front of the ref. You had a good line of, of, of view there. All right, okay, so uh, commercials gain possession in midfield. Unfortunately, there seems to be a hand on his shoulder, and that seems to, that's a free in from about round tower 65. Now, will he opt to go to his own 65? No, no. Okay. So this is number nine, uh, and this is oh, uh, don't have a number nine. This could be oh, uh, no, don't have a number nine. Okay, maybe perhaps. Okay, that's straight over the bar, though. Good accuracy there from the uh, commercial number nine. Okay, so we're back down to a two-point gap here. Oops. Okay. Waiting for the whistle again. Uh, we must be close to half-time now, I'd say. There is 30 minutes gone, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Now we've got to account for the water break and any additional time. There's a couple of hold-ups there. Uh, a couple of men down for a minute or two, I'd say. I'd say we're maybe looking... He's referee's looking at the watch, all right. Two balls on the pitch. Okay, Pat Cod goes medium length here. Uh, oh, great catch by Damien O'Brien, and this looks to be oh, off to the right. But a great catch and great play. Oh, he's half blocked, I'd say. Right, okay, so if we can keep winning our, our, our sidelines, uh, or sorry, our, our puck out smile, we'll be doing well. Okay, so this is this has gone out to, uh, out, out to the sideline, okay? So this will be a uh, sideline ball, just right in front of us here. Come on, Damien. Right, uh, Johnny Nile is coming in though for to, to, to take this one. Be looking to drop this in around the point. Be looking to hopefully can get a purchase now. We got good purchase the last time. Okay, he's looking, he's looking. He's looking, where's it going? Oh yeah, it's down towards where you'd expect uh, Luke Khan to be, but Luke has stayed inside. Luke White is out there though. Right, this ball is what, uh, up the pitch to Liam Bowen. Can he get it into his hands now for the first time? It's another stick and into the hand. And a great clearance there by Liam Bowen. Right, under Damien O'Brien who catches again. This man is towering above and catching. Right, was he impeded? He's hardly was being held. Ball is, no free. Ball is still in play. Luke White has it, but he's surrounded by commercials. Okay, this is... Slats, Maris Slats! Oh, he's hit it on all the ducks, but yeah. this is a, on the a great score. Great score by Towers. Another man from Tip. So after a bit, be from Tip. <laughs> <laughs> There's been no one left down there. There's a couple. <laughs> and uh, so that's is that uh, just one six to six. One six to six, is it? So just a goal Push again between them. Okay, right. I thought it was more, but. Uh, Okay, so John, to break, ball breaks to Jonathan Nile, who passes it out to Adam McNally. Okay, Adam gets control of it almost, okay, yes. Right, okay, Podge is there to help. Right, Podge is, yeah, shown his strength there. Jonathan Nile is back in. Right, where is this going to go? Commercials gain possession, okay. And it's a pop over to the side, okay. Number seven has it, he pops the ball high up. It's three against two in there. Right, and Chris Neville gains possession. Great catch again. And it looks to be half time. Okay. So action packed to, to uh, half there. I think uh, Towers would be fairly pleased. They're going in with a one goal margin, just as they had. Uh, was it three or four at the water break? Three, was it? It was three. Okay, so they maintained uh, that. So, relatively low scoring affair. A lot of ball being contested. A bit of dropping of the ball there and a lot of rocks now. Nerves. Pardon? Down to nerves. Bit of nerves, maybe. Yeah, as you'd expect in the final, okay? But ultimately, some great catching there, some great fielding. Like Chris Neville, Damien O'Brien there. Yeah. Um, and, and working the ball up often enough to take the score. 
<laughs> right. So um, I think both sides would probably be 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 relatively happy. Commercials would probably be disappointed that they haven't taken their their freeze. Yes. Okay. They had a couple of scoreable freeze, which would have actually put them right back very close to towers here. Okay. Uh, we might take a break. Before we do, I suppose it's worth a mention uh, for, for the sponsors. Um, currently, the, 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 the Round Towers hurlers are sponsored by Progressive Credit Union. We should also mention uh, maybe a couple of past sponsors. I don't think they kind of expire. We certainly remember them. Okay, and that, of course, would be the Top Shop in Los. Um, I think we had Papa Grigio's there at one point to be. Um, we're yeah, supposed to say, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, and hopefully, we haven't forgotten too many. Right, okay, maybe you can put them in the, co the comment section there, uh, if we've missed anybody out. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed that, that um, first half coverage here from um, a very calm and serene uh, O'Toole Park. Right, so we're going to take a, a slight break from the commentary. We'll be back again shortly. Don't go away, uh, or if you do go away, make sure it's just as far as the kitchen to make a cup of tea. Yeah, we're on. 
Yeah, we're back live. Okay, we're back live here. Um, teams are uh, <clears throat> coming back onto the pitch. On towers are out. Commercials are. Uh, have had their t both teams have had their talks. Um, wasn't much of a half time. Five minutes tops, I'd say, was it? Yeah, it seems to be very short. Yeah, very yeah. short. Okay. Uh, Do we notice any changes, Niall, uh, in the lineup from half time? I'm not seeing any immediate ones. Paul Kelly is coming back on. Who went off there as a uh, blood sub. Uh, back into midfield, Chris Neville is in there for the uh, the throw-in, both eights and nines. Okay, ref is waiting for something, I think he's team. just waiting. Is there a change on the commercial team? There is, number three has gone off. Number three has gone off, okay, so that was... Oh, right. And it looks to be a free in straight away for commercials. So three, Kieran Connell has gone off for commercials. Do we know who? Uh, what number is replacing? This guy here, I think. Okay. Uh, We'll have to wait until towers are up that end, hopefully uh, bearing down a goal for them to see the back of that uh, three, for three's replacement. So this is a high ball, it seems to be tailing off to the right, and that's another wide for commercials. Right, so Luke is gone to centre Luke. forward. Oh yeah, Luke is out now in the half, uh, centre half forward the position. This is coming under Davy. he was catching a lot of balls all day. Right, didn't quite get that one. Uh, right, low ball into the, uh, to the commercial forward. Left on the, on the far side, well and uh, that seems to be a sideline ball for commercials. So they've got number 12 coming over to take that, that's uh, Dara Unulon. Oh, it's a short one though. Right, okay, Dean Grimes is in, he's hassling, he's surrounded those, three against one, three against two, four against two. Okay, the ball is, um, has it come loose? No, it's still in there. Oh, Dean Grimes comes out with it, number seven, okay, brilliant. Okay, Luke Cott, he's gained possession and he likes to make a beeline when he gets, he's got to go past one match. Oh, and a chop down on Luke Cod. Okay, so this will be a free, which no doubt Luke will take um, from the commercials, 20 metre, just just outside it. Sorry, what did you say now? Very scoreable free. Very scoreable free for, for, for Luke here. But it looks like uh, he's leaving it for Jonathan Nile. So John, Johnny has been taking frees an awful lot uh, through through the campaign. So uh, so uh, both men well able to put him over the bar. Uh, so yeah, so about uh, it's actually about twenty. Sorry, yeah, about twenty-five meters out. Um, about halfway is maybe between the far line and the center. Johnny rises it, it looks to be good, and it's straight over, okay? So another point, uh, gap goes out now to four points. Uh, Ron Towers will be pleased to get a score on the board in the second He's half. Free here, lads. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, right, <coughs> okay, where's, uh, okay, there's a, John the Niles coming over uh, to pick up a loose man here. Uh, ball gone down the centre though. To Chris Neville. Uh, Chris Neville for, for oh. on, the, on his own 45. It's two against two, Dean Grimes nine. is without the hurley, it looks like, okay? But Shane Murphy again, oh, oh, kicks it as it gone over the sideline, it looks to be a commercial ball there, okay? Right, so it's just out of camera view, I would say, um, and it looks to be about the 20 meter line. On the near sideline. Taking his time okay, over. We're waiting for something. All right, so low ball in. Goes to a commercials man who gets possession. He brick flicks it out. And there's a bit of time and space now, but it not, didn't last for long. So they're passing inside. Oh, and that's a good save. Oh, right, okay. I don't think it was actually hitting the target. But Pat Cog got the hurley to it anyway for safety and puts it out for 65. Better be safe inside. Of so. course, and Pat showing his alertness there, as always. And his experience. So I think they'll be happy enough with that, okay? So now, um, do we have number 14 coming out for this one? Oh, 11. no, 11. So the, this is Colin Martin for commercials now has come out um, to take this one to 65. Had a Very near to the post. Oh, yeah, they have been three switching three. a little bit. It's quite, it's a clean strike, but is that go? It's, that's going over. Yeah, that's a point for commercials, okay? Gap going back now to three. That goal still separating the sides. Yes. To Pat Cod, he's going, oh, near side here, it's dropping around. Oh, 40, 65, okay, commercials, it's three, three men on one there. A little bit of a shimmy for number 12. 
Okay, pops it in, it goes over his target's head. Connor Bowen is competing for this. Okay, it's one on one at the moment. Right? Okay, Chris Nibbles hanging back there at the end. Connor wins possession. Hand passes the ball out. Adam Nat McNally tried to get to it. Uh, commercials go on target, and this looks to be a point. That's a well fought point for commercials. And the gap is down to two. Commercials. Yes, a good, a good. They'll be pleased now with, with, with those two points. Uh, particularly after Towers getting one, okay, right? So the ball goes now right in front of us. Um, we've got Paul Kelly there on the edge. We have Jonathan Nile, but I think the, uh, the referee's going to throw this one in. I think there was too many bodies down low, low over that ball. And he lost sight of it. Okay, so Damien is in for this one with number seven, David Murphy. Or which we think might be somebody else, uh, Aidan McCarthy. Okay, the ball's gone out to Paul Kelly. Paul gains possession, that low strike. Okay, pops up. Commercials gain possession. Oh, great block by uh, by Luke Codd. Who is this dropping short? Or is it? No, it's actually dropping. It's still in play, so the keeper is going to have to come out for this. Right? We've got Slats running into one under pressure. The ball clears up past the, 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 in the 45, but there's four Towers men in there. And uh, Shane Murphy gets possession and clears it uh, in. All right, okay, we don't have men in here. This look, oh, a little touch on the ball. A slats. Yes. And it tails off to the left and wide. But a uh, lovely little touch there from, was it Podge? And it just seemed to, to glide into the path there of, of uh, Martin Slattery. Yeah. Okay, restart now from commercials. Okay, this is going to drop on the uh, Tower 65, just past it, okay? A few players up, but commercial, get that, doesn't get great purchase on that. Uh, and we've got Owen is out, gains possession, clears it up to the uh, wing where we've got Adam McNally. Uh, Adam uh, hand passes it to, uh, that was, was that Shane again? Right, but commer commercials pick it up on their own. Great block down by Luke uh, Codd. Right, number 12 gets it for commercials. Uh, that is uh, Darrow Nulon. He's under pressure though by three towers men. He managed to get a ball loose. Paul Kelly, go, uh, Paul Kelly goes low, yes. Luke Codd is first to it, okay, but commercials gain possession. They're going up the far wing. Luke Codd is though, uh, putting him under pressure. There's a great little flick off the hurl by Paul Kelly. Oh, and he seems to have given it as a lost ball. And it was definitely a lost ball. Was that definitely a lost ball? He seemed, yeah. Paul Kelly seemed to flick it off as hard, but sure, we're not going to be complaining. We'll let the referee do his job. <laughs> we'll probably that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Commercials might get the next one. Okay. Is Paul Kelly going off again? Paul Kelly's gone off. The helmet has gone off. And who's come on? Liam. Liam Bowen is back yeah. on. Okay, so this might be more permanent. Oh, Hard lovely control. little flick there. Oh, but flicked again back. It was Ponge that had it now. There's, oh, commercials have it. Okay, they're gone down. They're playing it into the right corner forward. There's a lot of those balls going in, but he's struggling to get it up. And the ball bumped, and it's a lost sideline ball. Didn't quite get control of that. Commercials seem to be pulling a lot of ball into that right corner forward. But there seems to be always two men on him from Towers. So they're not making it easy. So the ball goes up the near line. Okay, Liam Bowen gets to it first, gets control. Oh, he has a quick look up. He knows, oh, uh, the ball comes off his stick. Team Grimes is there. Lee, oh. uh, Liam Bowen gets it again. Right, okay, again, a little bit of um, uncertainty there. Damien O'Brien has it though. Turns, lovely turn. Ball goes high into the full forward line. Luke Codd gets up for it. Doesn't quite catch it. Okay, he's surrounded by, you know, it's, it's fairly even here. But who's going to come out with this? Looks like Round Towers. No, the referee's pointing. Is something we don't know what it is. Okay, commercials come out. Oh, right, block a uh, bit of a hook, block down there, sort of. Oh, and that's Damien O'Brien. Does it glide over? And a point for around round towers. Okay, and the former Burgess man does it again. Uh oh, there is some Oswald here. Oh, is there handbags? Handbags. <laughs> I thought these lads had, oh, would, would, uh, would, get to know, would have known, gotten to know each other by now, but there's still a bit of over-familiarising. 
Okay, so the restart, referee doesn't do a call back play around it. It's dropping, it's a, a near sideline ball. Was it off a lot curly? Yes, it seems to be. The referee is calling it as a, a commercial uh, sideline ball. This is just uh, just outside uh, commercial's 45 meter line. Oh, is it a quick one? No, it's not. Uh, Podge needs to go back a little bit there uh, to make it legal. Referee is waiting for him to keep going back, is he? No, he seems to uh, happy, yeah. He's happy enough, yeah. This is uh, number nine. Okay, it's a little bit high, yeah. Right, okay, but commercial seems to have men there gathering that ball when it goes in around the 20 meter line. Okay, now towers are fighting for it. Uh, that's Adam McNally's helmet, I see. Commercials have it, and it looks like he, it's a free in. Looks like he was impeded there as he was trying to, to, to break free. So another free opportunity. Uh, I think they're going to stick with number 11, Colin Martin, by the looks of it. They're, no, they're having a, a conference about it, and it looks like it's uh, John Morris is going to take this one, right? Relatively straightforward, and yeah, puts the pause there, uh, right, and brings the score back into two. Okay. Right. So we're just waiting for the reset here. Uh, referee's blowing the whistle. Pat Card goes medium length around this halfway line. Right, okay, Damien O'Brien is up for that again. Doesn't quite catch it. And, and commercial, but a great block down by Liam Bowen. Right, okay. Uh, Luke White gets the free ball. This is into Luke Card. Is he going to get. Oh, lovely oh, little flick. And turn. Oh, and he's done it again. He's in. Oh, yes, and he's done it. What a great thing. Two, three pieces still there by Luke, oh, Luke Card. Okay, champagne hurling down in the middle of Crumlin. Okay, you couldn't write it, Niall. You couldn't write it. <laughs> Beautiful score. Some touches right. there. Unbelievable. Fantastic, fantastic, okay. And great to pick him out there by, uh, was that Luke White that got that ball in? It was, Luke White. Right, okay, so the two Lukes combining here. This is fantastic stuff. So any young lad watching in now will be uh, styling themselves on these two boys, okay, right? And many of them are, are round towers, lads. Okay, so great, great score. Putting a bit of distance between them again. Five points. Commercial though are in possession, and that goes wide, unfortunately. We got a bit distracted there. Lost a bit of the commentary and the play there, but... Oh, no, it's a free in. Okay, so it looks like uh, John Morris, number six, okay? So, uh, Towers will be pleased now with that goal. Oh, but I wouldn't be pleased without conceding a free there. I, I know, this will go bring it back into uh, four points. Yeah. Uh, they'd prefer to have five or six in it, I'd say. Um, but I suppose any any uh, neutral observer, if we have any, would, would <laughs> we probably don't have too many, would, would, would like to see a close contest. Mr. Groundsman is in having a chat with the ref. Is he telling him to stay off the lawn? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, it's a low ball. Oh, but it, it's it's uh, low enough. Uh, it's strange to see a low ball like that when there's hardly any breeze on it. But sure, TJ as long as they go over. TJ Reid, there's a few of that lad that did. Peter Duggan as well. Uh, okay, okay, so Pat Cod. Uh, this is a nice long one. This is hitting the 45 inch, okay? Damien O'Brien is scrambling on the ground for that. Oh, a little push in the back there, surely, on uh, on slats. And that's a free in for Towers. Damien is there. Haven't had a free out the hamstring in the there. Okay. Oh, yeah. They say this is a mixture of youth and uh, experience, and uh, maybe Damien showing his experience there by having to stretch the hamstrings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nisha's out with a word of encouragement. Nisha's out with another important free. man in the story of Lusk hurling. Okay, so Luke Codd is now taking this one. This is pretty much in front of the post. Okay, should be brilliant with confidence after that goal. And straight uh, over the yes, bar. straight over the Don't bar. Mistake. And uh, Martin Doyle, our umpire down on that end, waving the flag. Another man important in the, the, the Lusk, uh, Round Towers Lusk hurling story. I believe he's okay. the manager of the second team. Manager of the second team, indeed. There you go. Great crash right because Neville, just outside of 45. Hand passes the ball. Luke White gains possession. He's going to give this back to Chris. There's advantage given. Chris bends it up high, but only John the Niles inside. 
Now, if he gets this, but the ball is batted out by the full back. Out to number 11. Oh, but a block down. Chance for Towers again. Right. Uh, Martin Flattery gets it. Jeez. No, no, it goes. Pops the pass out to Vaughn McGuinness, who gives a little bit of a dummy. Has he overdone it? He get, oh, right. He didn't quite per get purchased on that. And the, into the keeper's hands, who clears it down to the Round Towers 45 metre line. Okay, this is out to Shane Murphy, okay? Who's yeah, having a great game all together, okay? Oh, what a great catch! Sharp pass to Lean Bowen. This ball's going in. Is it gone too far? Come on, Johnny, that's still in play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stay there and look for support. Oh, he has it! He's in! What's he doing? He's looking to kick it and it just goes into the near netting. Okay. Johnny's still playing football. Not, not, not by that. <laughs> no, he must be missing it there. Because uh, he went with the boot there. But in fairness, uh, the commercials man was very tight on his shoulder. Very difficult to get any sort of, of uh, stick on that. So the reset now by the commercials keeper. is again landing around the same area. Just outside the round tower is 45. Okay, and this is Lean Shane. Shane again. Is it, or no, is it Luke? That's Luke White. Luke White. Play the advantage. Now, who will take this? I think Chris okay. Nevin might take is this. Is Chris uh, or is Luke? Happy enough to Luke, Luke fancies this. Yeah, Luke is staying out that di yeah, direction, okay? But the forwards, uh, the six, there's only five players because. Um, to the short. Oh, it's a short to Chris Neville. Oh, lovely quick one. Very clever. Come on, Chris, now make it worth it. Yeah. And that's over the bar. That's what a well worked point there. Quick thinking. Commercials As you'd expect from these two lads. Okay, yeah, commercials won't be happy with that one now. That puts the score as a water break. Oh, we're on our second water break. Oh, this is uh, 90 miles. It feels 90 miles an hour up here. I hope it's the same for our viewers, uh, both round towers and commercials. But uh, Jeepers, I'm, I'm, I'm breathless after that. What do you think, Niall? I think it's a, a great performance so far. Uh, they'll be happy with the two-goal lead going into the last 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, they seem to be seem to be on top uh, for the last 10 minutes when they got the second goal yeah. and spurred them on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely now an, up, uh, an uphill battle. Um, 211 people tuning in so oh, far. Oh, we've got 211 viewers. <laughs> right, okay. I wonder how many we lost, though. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we need to know how many were there at the beginning. Anyway, um, but uh, it's, it's going to be uphill now for commercials. Um, those two goals are proving decisive. We look over at the scoreboard there. It's 210 to Round Towers and 10 points to commercials. Um, yeah, they're, it's, it's, you know, there'll be 15, about 15 minutes left. About I know 15. sometimes the, the, the water break is, can be past the 15 minute mark, but it'll be there or thereabouts, including uh, at a time. Yeah. Um, so they're going to have to probably, they might be looking for a goal well, here, you, I think. They'll need, they'll need a goal to win this. They'll need a goal, it feels like, unless they come out and get the first two or three points. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, and that's going to put them under pressure if they have to start going for goals. Oh, yeah. Uh, of course, yeah. Round Towers will be very pleased with this. Now they have to maintain the concentration. The game is not over yet. There's 15 minutes, and we've seen many, many times that games can turn around. Um, sure, uh, even in the last game, sure, Barogue didn't they come back? Was it the last quarter they came back? They did. They and, and, and back a uh, three point. Uh, Three point lead from Lusk. Oh, and there, were, there was eight points. I mean, now that might have been into the second, the end of the mm. second quarter, or sorry, the, the, the third quarter there, uh, in that one. But they, you know, so anything can happen. But uh, but we've got. Uh, so we're looking good. Our lads seem focused. Right, the restart is coming now. Just about to start from commercials. Uh, commercials keepers Aaron King with the puck out. Uh, it goes a little bit shorter this time, okay? Right, Dean Grimes is, uh, doesn't quite get possession. No, no, Commercials number nine. Okay, gets the hand pass back to number six, which is, uh, I believe, uh, John Morris. Yes, the free taker. Okay, this has come to Liam Bowen. Oh, ops for a... Doesn't quite, well, we looked to hit it on the ground, but it didn't. Luke White has this, and he's breaking out around our own 45. Great diagonal ball out to Luke Card. Uh, obviously, uh, oh, great stuff. Colm O'Brien is on. They must come out of the break. He's well, Hardy's been held there. Luke White. 
Luke has hardly been held and it's a free just outside the 20 metre line. So, um, special we, we mention for Colm O'Brien. Yeah, player Colm, manager. player manager now was on Kenny in the last quarter. So, um, did he come on for, uh, I'm guessing, was it? No, Martin Slattery's on. Who did he come on for? Johnny Nile. Jonathan Nile, it looks like. Any other changes, Nile, that we might have missed? Not that I can see. Luke Codd lines this up and straight to splits the post, it looks like, okay? So now seven points between the two teams. Any other changes, Niall, that we might have missed? No? Not that I can see. No, Just no, no. The on uh, they won't want to change the, the, the setup too much now. Okay, uh, so again, this time, near post, great catch from number nine there. Um, he's been one of uh, Commercial's better players today. Yes. This number nine, he's getting on a lot of ball when great, he, great right, okay? Comes out to, is it number six? six. Yeah. Him down. Right, John Morris again, okay, he's under pressure though. Uh, commercial game possession, what are they going to oh. do? They're going to take their point, it looks like. Oh, he's gone wide. Right, he was shooting kind of diagonal there off the uh, far side. He was under a lot of pressure. He was, of course. Pat Codd goes Same to the far sideline. Okay, this is dropping under Damien O'Brien. But there's two men behind him. Great catch there for commercials, uh, half back. Right, and this is going to drop under Dean Grimes, it looks like, who bats it down to Liam Bowen. Yeah. Oh, down uh, just inside the wing there, okay. Uh, commercials get it, so a bit of two and fro here on this near sideline. Okay, Chris is out to battle for that one. Oh, and again, oh, there's a new man. Uh, commercials have 22 in. Right, he's a big. Oh, was there a little. The referee didn't see it, no, no, uh, there's a lot of messing now, there's Dean Grimes game possession, he's gone on the side and the ball comes out uh, to the halfway line, uh, commercial game possession, okay, right, oh, ball is going in, this is going to drop in the box, oh, oh, but uh, Adam McNally gains possession and he knocks a low ball out to Damien O'Brien, okay, there's two men, three men on Damien, okay, but Adam is out again, White ball goes in, Dean Grimes gets a hand to it. 13 for commercials. Oh, and it's a free, a little bit of just, just a little bit too much attention there paid pay by Dean Grimes. Oh, but yeah, there was no way he was taking that. Uh, so quick, but so yeah, there may, may have to be 13 metres back at least, okay? So uh, I don't think the referee would be um, uh, uh, upset by uh, any any of that, okay? Right, another sub in for number 22. Oh, is it 23 on? So now it looks like 22. John Cullinan and George Kenny, 23, are on the pitch. He's got low! A great save! Oh! Saved by somebody in there, but Owen O'Donnell has come out with it and he brings it up the line up to, up to Podge, uh, Podge <laughs> McGuinness, who's playing a little bit deeper. So there's quite a few lads. Um, some of our round tower farmers have dropped back now, being to their own half. We saw a bit of this against Barogue in the semi final where uh, they tried to protect the lead a little bit. I don't know. If, but look at that's natural when you're uh, trying to protect the lead. So, sideline, lovely sideline ball by number nine there. Chris Neville gets underneath it, doesn't quite get possession. It's out to number 10. He's trying to make space for himself. He hits it low. What a save! Fabulous save again. What a save! What, did it go over what? No, no save. The full back. Oh, 65. Oh, fabulous full I length. saw the hands go up. I didn't see the ball go high. I was like, where did it go? It didn't go into the net. He took full length and stopped that. Unbelievable save. Who oh, was that back on? <laughs> no, it was. Uh, oh. Oh, no, no, jeepers, okay, right, so great stuff, great defending there by, by Towers. Right, so 65, pretty much in front of the post, okay, obviously slightly uh, on the far side of it. But number 11, Colin Martins to take this one. I'm going to lob it in. Oh, it's high, it looks to be going straight, but no, it's gone wide, it's just come from this side. Was that the opportunity? So still seven points in it. And commercials need to be making inroads if they're to do anything really in this semi in this uh, this junior e final. Pat Card, right, going past uh, the, the commercial 65, okay, ball drops down near Damien O'Brien, he's putting pressure under, uh, a little bit maybe a too close attention there by Damien. Pump there. Right, okay, and it's number 11 again, he's dropping this one in, okay, he's trying to hit his forwards, but it comes to Chris Neville, who surely clear this out the far wing, which he does, okay, and Damien O'Brien is back in to catch, no, he has it, game possession, and belts it up, now there's only two forwards up there, Luke, Luke, Luke uh, Codd, comes up with a three, three against three in there, okay, right, commercials come out with it, 
Very close attention by Colm O'Reilly and commercials find the man and it comes back into the round tower's half. Dean Grimes is going to be underneath this. Okay, but it only bats it down to number 12 of commercials who's trying, but he's, oh, great block down there by Chris Neville. Has the referee blown the whistle? Yeah, he got a block down on the knee, I think. Far. But uh, maybe he made contact, but he certainly seems to be going for the ball. Um, perhaps. Do, can he back on his number he is, five? Yeah. Yes. He is, yeah. And um, I think. Okay, so it's a free in anyway. I don't think there was any cards. I don't think there was any malice in that one. No, no, they're throwing it in. Going going first the free because yeah. there's after. Oh. Okay, so right. Okay, so it's a throwing ball, right? Okay, so oh, number six has it. He's always under pressure. He seems to be held there, perhaps. Referee is pointing to a free, and it's right in front of the post, I would say on the edge that. of the big line. This goal, big semicircle. Okay, right? Yeah, he's gonna. They're gonna have to drop it in. Uh, uh, is it that time already though, Niall? Is it a little bit? I mean, they have seven. seven they have seven points. Wouldn't really be better off going. About six minutes left, I'd say. But it, great save. Jesus. Another great save. Another great save. <laughs> Right, out commercials out this near wing, okay? So I don't know who got the hurdies to that in the goal, but uh, right now they look like they're going for a point, but he's dropping in again! Oh, and it's battered down, and they've got one goal back. And no, obviously he was on the edge of the box there. Mm. Uh, Suspicion yeah, of no square ball. Really, or, or sign of anybody thinking of a it's square ball. ball. Long way. game recess, so we're down to four points. A little bit of drama towards the end. But this is coming to uh, Luke White, okay? He's got a chance for a point, and he does that. Right? What a response. Uh, great response there from, from Round Towers. They needed that to maybe settle the stomach a little bit. Okay? That was a little bit of a blow. Right, when this this can happen. So five points in it, and we're looking at maybe five, six, seven minutes left. They've kind of in there. Commercials now fighting for everything. They want that ball always in around there. But Chris Neville was hassled. No, referee says play on. Damien O'Brien gets possession. He's surrounded by commercials. And he was impeded. Looks like uh, yeah, and it looks free out. Right, okay, and everybody's calling to for, for them to, to everybody to keep it cool. Right, okay. Still have a lot of men back here, towers do. Looking to push men forward. Right, so this is going to be a free out. Um, Luke Connors is lining up to take this one. Not sure why he's not in by the forwards, but look at that's the game plan, okay? Cullum is in, in inside, who else is inside? Uh, Martin Slattery's inside, and we've got a couple of men. Okay, so he's got, it looks like he's going for the score here. He's got good distance on it, but it's tail and elbow! 70. One of our calling the 70, the other's waving wide. Yeah, yeah. Which comes there from? There was a hand up there from uh, one of the umpires for 65, but the uh, referee waved it wide. And the game is reset. Uh, Dean Grimes knocked up the loose ball there, pops it up to Liam Bohan. Uh, commercials come in behind those, all right? Uh, and Dean, you know, Luke White has this. There's three against one here. And number nine, again, very impressive for commercials, okay? Gets the ball loose, but unfortunately, there's no commercials men there. Get the ball. This is an easy one for Dean. Who's, oh, overdid that one, I think. <laughs> he popped the ball into his hand three times, I'm thinking now. Steps, I believe. Oh, uh, was steps, it steps? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought he was going to throw the ball into the pitch and put course. Too much time on it, okay? Ball got over far. Oh, there's a man down. They won't. Commercials did take quick action there. But they've got a man down right in front of us. Uh, it's number nine. Uh, and I don't have an a air for number nine. But uh, he's having a good game anyway for commercials. <sighs> So five points in a bit of drama there in the closing stages, Noel. There is. There can't be too much left now. I can't. Three minutes normal time, I think. Three, Three minutes so of normal time, okay? Possible a couple of again. So Okay, there's ball. Oh, dear! That ball has deflected into the round tower's net somehow. A Hurley went up from this sideline. Oh, from the free. Oh, no. Two, two well to two on, ten. It's game on with only a few minutes left. Are we looking at a repeat? No, we'll, we'll take a repeat of the our old match because we called him and he came out on top on that one. Yeah. But great, great battling back by commercials, okay? Oh, referee's not blowing it up. Is it over right carrying or it's a free? He's blowing it up. I'd say this is going to be a throw in. Oh, what, what's going on? Keep it calm, lads. Keep it calm. Keep it calm. There's only a few minutes left. We want to, want to see the, the game finish out with everybody on the pitch. 
I don't think there was anything too bad in it, but uh, a few people on the sideline wanting to have their, their say as well. Probably shouldn't be. Walk away, walk away, everybody. Walk away, calm it down, take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah, there's no cure for this. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's very difficult no to cure. take a, a deep breath because it's so exciting here in O'Toole Park. Right, okay. A round out, punch, call, punch, uh, McGuinness gets the hand pass out. Damien O'Brien is first to the ball. Now he needs to cross this ball in. He's not, oh, he's gone for the score and it's gone near side and wide, okay. So with the commercials be looking for the quick, uh, no, not quick puck out, right? They're shouting for it all over the pitch. They really need to get possession of this puck out now to have any sort of chance. Come on, Towers. Are you? Oh, great catch by Liam Bowen. Oh, she was quite semi hooked there, I think. Damien O'Brien, okay. They're still. Oh, and it looks to be a free out for commercials. A uh, couple of trips there, I think. I'm not sure anyone was uh, was intentional, but the commercials get the final say anyway with this free. Okay, what are they going to do? He's not going to make the distance. This is dropping in around the edge of the D. Okay, and Dean Grimes get possession. Clears it out the far sideline. Damien O'Brien, and it comes to Martin Slattery, who's out as well from the forward line. He has possession. He needs to do something. Okay, he belts it in. Colm O'Brien gets possession. Can he put it over the bar? Oh, it looked to be going over. Great catch by Colm, but he's just put it wide. But for any amount of time the ball spins up, the commercial then is good for Towers. Okay, ball dropping now between the 45 and 65. Okay, Podge. Podge McGuinness hits it on the ground, but there's only a commercial man there. Okay, this ball goes up the nearest sideline, but Chris Neville is out first to it. Okay, he'll be looking to clear this long and belts it high up the same length. But is there anybody there for Towers? Luke White. Oh, Luke White is. Uh, Luke Carr gets it. Okay, right, he's going to go again. Hand it in to Luke White. What's he going to do here? Probably a pint will be the safest thing. Oh, and he takes a pint. Okay, to put a goal three. So it's still only one score between the sides. Clock is ticking down. 2.13 to 2.10 here in O'Toole Park in Crumlin. And a quick reset now by the commercials uh, keeper. Right, dropping. Uh, their man is first two. That's one of the subs. Big lad. Number 22. Diagonal ball across. And it's going to be into their number 15, who was getting seen a lot of ball in the first half. Seems to have switched over. Right, okay. And Adam is marshalling very, very well. Okay, it's a contested ball. Commercials still have a number 12. Right, is he overplaying it? Oh, it's a free in. It's a free in. Now, what will they do? Will they take their point? They have to go for the. I reckon really we're in injury time now. I we're think we're in injury, injury time, time now. Yeah, we're in injury time. So, so uh, right. It's it. a good bit. It's a. It's a long way out. This is out past the 20 meter line. I'm guessing maybe 23, 24 meters out. Oh, rises it. It's it. Oh. Oh, it's another save! And it's gone out along the near sideline. And this is uh, Shane Murphy by the looks of it. Oh, no. Okay, right? Okay, they're dropping it back in. My Podge is up where that one doesn't quite connect. That's Owen O'Donnell. Clear the ball out. It could be going over the sideline, but we don't care. We'll run the clock down another little bit of it. Or, or, or a few seconds, okay? Sideline ball here just in front of us. Okay, it's panic stations now for commercials. They don't have a lot of time. Three points to make up. Number 12 is on it. Daryl Nulano goes short. Don't quite connect. But they still have possession. It goes to number five. Ball is dropped. Oh, and it seems to be a free aim. Rushes aren't stuck for a free today, are they? No, no, they're... Uh, but it looks like if they're sticking to their... What well, seems to be their game plan, they'll be dropped in. Okay, so lots of bodies. Only one uh, one round towers man in their own half. This is dropping in. And it's batted down. Obviously by a round towers hurley. We don't know which one. Um, okay, right. The ref has uh, given a free in. in. But it's from a very tight angle. I think it's going to be rinse and repeat. Another uh, drop ball into the square. Right. Towers bringing on, or commercials bringing on their sub. Another sub, 21 is coming on, okay, which is uh, Austin Kilgallen. 
Yeah. Right, but the sheep we have in front of us, okay? Uh, there can't be much left in this now. Right, the free is. Right, is he? He's dropping. Oh, he's gone low, but it hits Podge McGuinness! Big lad Podge gets in the way! Right, he's over the ball! Just needs a clear. Oh, he hand passes it out, which is out to Slattery. The full, the corner forward is in. Comes out. That's yours. Yeah! And the final whistle blows as a three point win to Tower, but what a great contested game! Here in O'Toole Park. Oh my goodness, it's gone so quiet here, but, but the drama, the, the, the drama was a lot, seems a lot louder now. <laughs> if you were oh, the my loudest goodness. person here, John Perry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we needed a microphone now. Oh <laughs> my goodness, great excitement, it's okay, great excitement. and a great win for Towers. Look at commercials, really put it up to them there, though, in that final they quarter. Did. So drama. And, uh, and if they had a little bit more time, I think they wouldn't have had to drop those balls in. And who knows, even if they've taken points, they had three frees there in the last few minutes. Now, of course, they, got they might not have gotten those. We can't talk too much about what ifs or what about, or, you know, but... Um but uh, a great, uh, great exciting match uh, here and uh, Jeepers, I think we're going to have to cut this commentary short and go out there and just start uh, whooping <laughs> for towers. Um, and, but hopefully anyway the, the commentary wasn't too biased. Uh, it was going to be biased, we knew that. It was beautifully uh, biased. It was beautifully biased. A new phrase into the, uh, into the thesaurus. Uh, <laughs> Thanks to our cameraman. Oh yes, uh, uh, the, the, the camera service is here up from Tipperary I believe. That's right, all the way from Burgess, uh, Direct Podrick is my name, Sports Focus is uh, the, sport, the photography agency I'm involved with. So. Looking for pictures around right. tip. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And ably assi uh, assisted here by, by, by my Carl who's running the scoreboard for us here right, on the okay. computer. So well so done, so, so well done, Carl. Okay, but um, and thanks, and thanks to John. James, no, no. Uh, I think we we uh, we both enjoyed that. We had a great view of it for a start. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, <laughs> not that that was hard to do given uh, the match was behind closed doors. But um, uh, look at you know this is second second championship in a row. In this a row, is yeah. this is going to be great for us. Hurling, right? They're um, got a separate second team going this uh, this year, and and last year was a bumper year for Round Towers. We had five championships here, uh, or, or we won five championships in the club. Uh, four at adult level, one at uh, juvenile level, uh, and we still have teams in in the in, in the juvenile championships. But uh, I think this is uh, and, and the minor championships. But this is the first one this year, so yeah. this is important to, to I think to first notch if you like. Absolutely, yeah. And hopefully there'll be many more. And I hope our young hurlers and round towers and commercials were tuned in watching this today. Um, gr great battling. Sometimes not the most fluid hurling. Um, you know, a lot of uh, fumble ball, but you expect that in a final. There was a lot of stake. Um, and uh, but but I think probably the, 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 uh, the cup is, is out. Um, but I think probably the, there was a few highlights, Niall. Uh, certainly Luke Codd's second goal there. Absolutely, yeah. It was, uh, J J Japers, it was like he was doing ballet dancing with the hurley up and uh, uh, twisting, uh, touching the ball and, and finished. Uh, it, it was just to get a goal there and, and, and to yeah. finish the ball. Uh, in the back of the net, and 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 when you look at the scoreboard, those goals were important, right? Those goals were were, were crucial. It was only three points in it in the end. Okay, so it looks like uh, so we've got the three round tower. Was it two three points? points? Three points. Three points. Yeah, the goal uh, or three points. Yes, yeah. technically, yeah. So we've got um, right. So should I? Uh, so we've got uh, players congregating now. Just as going to be a co uh, presentation. Uh, and I'm going to shut up for a while. You'll be, be pleased to hear, I, I'd say. <laughs> right? And, but listen, thanks to everyone. Thanks to the sponsors, Progressive Credit, Credit Union, thanks to Niall Johnson here, uh, and myself, John McKenna. Uh, as I say, there'll be a bit of cuteness from me as we uh, we watch uh, in, in a bit of silence the, the cup. Oh, they're coming up to us. Oh, yeah, I love Mikey. Right, okay. So I think we're allowed this one uh, as well from the commentator. On the tower! <laughs> I leave it on the ground here and I, I, I push your own in. Right, okay? Well done, commercial. Come over, lads, to the railings. You'll be able to catch up the, the, the yeah. speech as well there. Come on. Huh? Come on. Make sure the mic is on.
Okay, lads, Tom Rock is my name. I'm from the Dublin County Board. And I'm here to present this Cup Junior E County Champions to Round Towers of Lusk and to your captain, Ona Dardy. I only got the second half with lads. Unfortunately, I was watching the Tipperary County Finals and there was a fairly, I can tell you one thing, there was a fair, that was a fair game. It was a, a last minute goal for Kildag that won it. But uh, years was nearly as tight. And uh, Sandra Hardy was very good. I saw the whole second half there. Two great clubs, commercials I know, some of the lads is out there. I had them out years and years ago on the Dublin number 21 team. People like John Cullinan and Johnny Morris. It's great to see them still playing. And it's great to see a team from North Dublin as well like Lusk. I think the guy that I always remember from Lusk was Jim Dorden. That be correct? Yeah. And uh, uh, you know, he, he hurled with Dublin. I remember him from years and years ago. And it's great to see you with continuing that great tradition, lads. So without further ado, I just ask Owen to take the cup and say a few words. Hello, Cheers, Hello, First of all, I just want to thank the ref uh, for officiating today and commercials for giving us the game. It took two teams to make the occasion, but it was today, lads, so thanks for that. It's a long yes. applause for commercials, lads. <laughs> also, I want to say thanks to the squad. It was a fairly uncertain year there at times. It was difficult at times, but uh, for the most part, she stayed committed and dedicated anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, got us over the line in the end. We also had a few new additions to the squad this year. They definitely got us over the line as well. So uh, thanks to all the lads for all your commitment during the year, lads. I suppose anyone uh, who knows Lost Corland knows that they've, they've been growing fairly steadily over the last few years. And last year we made a big breakthrough in the championship. And here we are again today, winning another championship back to back. Uh, who would have thought it really? But to be honest, it didn't happen by accident. Uh, we have a management team really that are second to none that live and breathe lost curling. And not enough credit can be given to these lads. They're always there for us and they always put in the commitment and dedication. Ray O'Keefe. <laughs> Barry Griffin. <laughs> Dave Power. Sorry. And I suppose the man who's been leading us sports on the field and from the sideline now for a good few years, Colm O'Brien. <laughs> um, that's about it, lads. We'd enjoy this tonight. Oh, lift it up. Towers lift it up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Back here, lift it up. Yeah. Here we go. Hold it there. Hold it there. Well done. You have to leave it back to me, Owen. If you want to take one photograph of the team, yeah. I'll take it back. Thanks. I forgot to mention your name. Well done, Ref. Well done. Well done. Well done. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Hey, we'll, we'll sign off, I think. Let the boys enjoy their, their win. Let's <laughs> sign off. Oh, yeah, so it looks like we're signing off here. Um, the players are, are leaving the pitch. Listen, well done, commercials, okay? Great match. Um, thanks again to everybody uh, that tuned in. Um, and look at, uh, we'll see you when we, when we see you. Right, right okay. okay? Up the towers. <laughs> right, okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.